Hello, good day to me and the other, and this is a completely unsurprising video. Uh, you'll be surprised, well you won't be surprised to hear, because you know what the government are like. Uh, they lie and uh, they are uh, have this whole vendetta regarding PIP claimants. Um, claiming that there's fraud and they need to... Uh, really button down on that and uh, track down all of these fraudsters and they need to you know uh, do all sorts of things and take away benefits for people when in actual fact it's um it's actually a non-issue yeah a non-issue coming from the big issue is a non-issue <laughs> let's have a look at this story because it is not surprising but it is but it is sort of surprising because how many people knew this how many people guessed that it wouldn't be a problem because obviously pip is so hard to get in the first place and here we have the headline there's been almost no recorded cases of disability benefit fraud despite the crackdown by DOVP and Rishi Washi pip fraud is a non-issue Yes, it stood at 0% in the financial year ending March-April 2024. Which is fair and compassionate. Can you tell me what is compassionate about the language used by the Prime Minister of the last fortnight where he's referred to a signal culture? Mm. He's implied that people forced to rely upon benefits do so as a lifestyle choice. Mm. Today he's talk about the arrests, seizures and crackdowns against benefit claimants. The Disability Poverty Group, which comprises all the major charities we've all worked with, said that they described the speech as chilling, threatening and stigmatising. Does the Secretary of State not realise that language like the Prime Minister's used increases prejudice against disabled people yeah. Yeah. and actually contributes to the escalation of hate crime against disabled people. Yeah. 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 Well, the, the Prime Minister shares the view that I have, which is that it's really important that we achieve the best possible outcomes for the people that we are uh, discussing in, in this statement. Uh, he cares a great deal, and I think he said at the end of his speech that uh, he wanted to help many people, some of whom uh, are watching the screen flickering away while their opportunities are drifting off into the distance, or words to that effect. And that speaks from the heart. That speaks from the heart. That says that we have a Prime Minister who cares deeply that opportunities in society should be made as widely available as possible. And that, that is a view. Uh, that is a uh, a characteristic and a quality that I admire and I share with him. Uh, meanwhile, DLA, uh, which is the other one, uh, children get that, it was around about 0.1%, which was rounded down to naught. It comes as the government continues to its drive to tighten disability benefits, eradicate sick note culture, and crack down on fraud within the welfare system. Uh, so you can see this is actually very, very damning because we know what they're like. We know they've been accused of systemic uh, abuse to disabled people, discrimination, and of course they're moaning about losing money because there's too many sick note uh, people claiming benefits, and of course. Fraud, they keep on about that, and actually, it's not true. There is hardly any. I mean, practically zero. I've been um, vilifying people like me for the last, gosh, no, oh. you know, weeks and weeks, yeah. months and months, years and years, and I can't. Sorry. No, take it. Take your take a breath, Sue. Are you are you alluding to a disability and comments on benefits and yeah. things? Yeah. Yeah. And um, you know they've been taken to court by the UN and they're not even listening. I, I was working in a professional role for a long, long time. I I got all my qualifications. I got a master's degree, and oh. then I got very poorly. Yeah. And um, I've, I've been off sick, and uh, you know, no fault of my own. Do you feel blamed? Um, but I, I feel guilt every day. 
I feel ashamed of myself every day. Why? Why, Sue? Because I'm not bringing in money. Because I'm not, um, I'm not contributing to society. But overpayments, which is a different thing, it's uh, slightly different in that it's not really fraud, although it technically it is because the majority of overpayments happen because of errors where the claimant probably did not report a change. So you need to report changes if you have any because obviously they will class that as fraud. Only 1 in 100 were overpaid. Uh, for DLA, the over overpayment rate was 0.5% in the financial year just ended. Around 0.2% was because of claimant error, mainly because of the claimants failing to report that they were admitted to hospital or care homes. That's also applicable to attendance allowance as well. So obviously if you're going to hospital, you need to tell them that you're in hospital for a period of time. Uh, the money will stop, but you can easily get it back. Uh, oh, here we are. Here's overpayments due to official errors made by the DWP. So they're claiming fraud and it's them. 0.2%, 10 million quid. And this is where they were allocating awards levels at assessment stage. So they've obviously got it wrong. And if the government is concerned about fraud, it will be serious enough about the 15.2 billion that multinational companies hide from the UK via tax havens, money which could fund public services. Instead, disabled people continue to be demonised. Yes, they do. You see fraud. Here we go is at much higher rates. But it was overpayments, mainly, which is 10.9%. That compares with 11.4% the previous year. Earlier this year, an organised gang. Well, we can't be held responsible for organised gangs. They were convicted of stealing 54 million from UC. Under declaration of income, remained the most prominent reason for UC fraud. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, that's fair enough, but there's lots of things wrong with UC. Uh, so, fraud relating to additional elements besides uh, standard allowance, such as the health elements or carers elements, were just 0.1%. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, so... Pit fraud is, well basically any fraud in the benefit system, is extremely rare. However, you do get stories which come out, and I am reluctant to tell you this, but it is, it's in the in mainstream media. So basically we have this issue with people being caught, uh, and of course it makes a big story, doesn't it? It's very much the highlight that we get tarred with the same brush. So this is a lady who's caught uh, going for 5k runs. She's on benefits. She's on um, disability benefit, I believe. Let me have a look at the story. She has a series, claimed, claimed a series of uh, physical impairments, meaning that she could hardly walk or get out of bed. So they caught her doing 5k runs. Yeah. And of course they're going to make a big thing of this. Apparently she stole 70,000 before they got caught. And they captured her doing the runs more than once a week over the span of a decade. So she lasted 10 years uh, and she claimed enhanced benefit payments <laughs> so the jury uh, heard how she contact payers. Uh, false claims of her mobility was severely impaired by multiple sclerosis. Uh, Bond has already been ordered to pay back the money. Uh, and of course the rate of benefits awarded to you was dependent upon your honest disclosure. So the 49-year-old claimed that she could hardly walk. Uh, fraud investigated 
uh, revealed the team had quit, quit the surveillance operation early because they covered, gathered so much evidence uh, that told the court that the team parked in view of her home and captured her on film as she ran the same route three times across a 10-day period in 2017. Why has it taken so long? Anyway, so they are um, highlighting this story. Let me just check the date on this because, yep, it's this, it's um, two days ago. So it's current. It's a current story. Hello, just a reminder that if you are worried about your data being sold or being used or abused, then there is a service that's called Incogni and go to their website to find out more and also if you do sign up then you will be helping me by allowing me to get a small commission and also helping yourself to prevent yourself and your data and your information from being abused so please do consider and have a look at the link below of course they're going to make a oh, going to make a big figure of this aren't they because it is, it is fraud in the sense of the word and it's quite big fraud and there will be people who think that they can get away with it but everybody is being tarred with the same brush which obviously is not right so that's the story that's the good news and bad news of course uh, if you have any comments then please do share them down below that's it from me have a very good day